Hello and welcome to a Python video. We're going to make a rock, paper, scissors game today. So let's get started by importing our random library and then making a variable called options. This is a list variable. and We're going to have three elements for this game, rock, paper, and scissors. Each of those elements is a string separated by a comma. We're going to make a new variable called computer and set it equal to our random.choice method. And we're going to pass in the options variable. Make sure that the spelling matches. Make sure your syntax and your list variable is correct. And let's begin by making an input method for the player. Player equals input. And then we'll print out the message, enter rock, paper, or scissors. And we're going to use a nice little colon there to make it look pretty in the terminal. After the player enters what they'd like to choose, rock, paper, or scissors, we're going to be comparing it to what the computer chose from the random.choice method. Let's do a quick test. Here I've written a comment test computer and then print computer. So whatever was assigned to the computer variable will be printed out. Make sure to turn on, if you're using jdoodle, the interactive mode. And here we type in paper and then of course we get what the computer printed out. I realized in post that my video is covering up the terminal, so I apologize about that. But feel free to proceed with the video as planned. Let's delete our comments and let's create our conditional statement to check if the player has chosen rock what to do. If the player has chosen rock and the computer chooses rock, well then we should print out a message that says tie, making sure that it's a string. So we have our apostrophes or quotes around it. And then we're going to simply copy and paste that second nested conditional and make it an else if. So if computer is rock, then we'll print tie. Else if computer is paper, let's print a message that says you lose, paper covers rock. And then another else if for if computer has chosen scissors, then we can print out a message that says you win. You smashed the scissors. Feel free to change these messages as you would like that makes sense for the theme in your game. We're going to be copying and pasting this conditional statement, but for now let's write a comment that says if the player chooses rock. All of this is about the player having chosen rock. We're going to copy and paste that and make the comment this time say if the player has chosen paper and make sure if player is equal to paper is changed. And we'll copy and paste it one last time. So if the player has chosen scissors, making sure that player is equal to scissors at the bottom. I write a quick comment here in the video talking about that this is the computer's choice for rock and so on, but that isn't necessary. Heading down inside of the last conditional statements, we have if player is equal to scissors, and then we have all the different conditions. You will need to change the else if for the computer choices inside of each of those loops. But that should take care of it. 